All right, so in this video, I want to take a quick look at the symbols in Illustrator Creative Cloud. So we come on in and we have a symbols window. So we can open up this symbols window. And with the symbols window, as in many of the different things inside of Illustrator, we also have a symbols library. So we can click on our library and we can open up and see that we have all of these other things that we may want to work with. So for instance, if we want arrows, uh, we can grab those. We could also come on in and uh, grab nature and lots of different options in here. All right, so how do the symbols work? Well, we could say these are pre-built objects inside of Illustrator that we can work with. So for instance, I can take this, I can grab out this blue arrow. I can grab on here. I can flip it around. I can make it larger. I can do whatever it is that I really would like to do with it. Now, if I want to come in and try to change the color, you'll see, though, that I am not able to do so, okay, because it is what it is. In order to do that, we need to break the symbol. So I'm going to show you how to break the symbol real quick. So in order to break the symbol, all we do is we come right to here and we break the symbol. Now, once we break the symbol, it no longer is a symbol. It's just an object, and we can come on in and we can change the color. Voila. We can also come in if we would like to and, you know, even work with how it's shaped, change things up a little bit, and there we have it. All right, another thing about the symbols, when we're working with the symbols, the tools on the toolbar that correspond to the symbols library uh, are right here. And we see we have the symbol sprayer, the shifter, the scruncher, the size of the spinner, the stainer, and there we have it. So this is a little pullout. I click like so. I choose a symbol to load and I have my sprayer. So now we can see that when we start spraying that these all come out and they come out together. So we could just come in like we have a spray can and spray in um, these symbols. Now as we move them we see they all move as a group. We can come in here and grab some of these tools. This is the shifter so we click. We can start moving things over as we'd like to. Uh, we can, this one is the scruncher, so we can make some a little bit smaller, scrunch them in a little bit. Uh, this one right here, the sizer, we can make some of them bigger to create more variety. This one is the spinner, so we can, you know, move things around. We can say this is a real quick and easy way to work with the principles of design in a um, layout. You know, we have repetition. Uh, but then within it, by using these different tools, we create more vari variety. Oh, that's interesting. Uh, that just changed. Don't know why that happened. Hmm, interesting. All right, so that one right in here is the stainer tool. And I did not think that that should have happened. Usually it makes it uh, so it is a little bit lighter. I'll come back to that. This one is the screener tool. There we go. The screener tool does that. Okay. Now it looks like um, the stainer tool... Um, I'm going to try that with a different one and see. Here is the styler tool and hold on for one minute. Okay, so when we work with this image right here, the similar styler tool, uh, the similar style tool is related to the graphic style panel. And again, we have other menu uh, menus as well. So we can come on in here and um, you know, add a whole bunch of different kinds of things. Let me open up another one. We can say that we want to have artistic effects. Um, and we have some of these guys right in here. I could click onto this one. All right, so when I want to add this, first thing I need to do is I need to come in, I need to select the whole thing. And then I can grab on the Simbler Styler tool. And since I can see that I have that one little one selected, I click onto this. This was the one I had loaded. Give me a minute here. So I actually had that one selected. So you can see that the one that I had selected, it's applying onto there. Let me see if I can double click this one and that one will go on. Okay. Well, I think you got the idea. Graphic styles uh, working with this in through here. Um, and there we go, I double clicked it, and then it comes in and it applies over top of it. So there we have it, an overview of the symbols. Uh, now you could also create an object and then turn it into a symbol. 
So for instance, file new, I'm going to come to a new thing here. Let's say that I, you know, have these couple little objects. I'm working with them all together and I kind of like the way that they are. All I do is I click, I select the whole crew, I open up my symbols library wherever it is, the original one, and it's all selected. I'm going to group it. Actually, all I would do right here is I would say create new symbol. I could give it a name, squares. Now you might find that you want to create um, you know, things like this if you want to use them over or, you know, put them in a design and do different things with them. Okay, thanks so much. That's a quick, easy overview of the symbols.